Warriors defeat the Cavs 99-92. A lot of things we could take away from this game. On in the Cavs side, what we could take away is LeBron James is going to need to drop 50, 60 points just to beat the Warriors, you know, four straight times. He's going to have to average 60 and average a triple-double on top of that. LeBron, he had help yesterday. That's one of the key things everybody always likes to say. He doesn't have enough help. But when you look at the way that the team played, Kevin Love had a solid game. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he got little contributions here from Jay Crowder, et cetera, et cetera. But there was, the, the game was there for the Cavs to take. LeBron could have taken it. But it's just that he needs to play with so much force, so much energy. It's just not going to work out. And one of the key things that they tried to do yesterday with the Cavs is they tried to put Jay Crowder on Kevin Durant. That didn't work. Jay Crowder was getting in foul trouble. And the Cavs just don't have anybody to match up with Durant. Even with Stephen Curry out, you know, you would think this is the game where here the Cavs are going to come through, shut it down. You know, they had spurts where they took the lead. Well, they just did not have an answer for Durant. Durant's playmaking, his defensive ability. And they just don't have anybody to guard the Slim Reaper. So that's that's going to hurt them down in the future if they have to go against the Warriors in the NBA Finals. Like, I mean, you just don't, you don't have an answer. And, you know, LeBron can't. You know, not to say he can't sustain all these efforts, but he needs to be in a position where the outcome of the team is not solely dependent on him averaging a triple-double. Like, that's not a realistic thing to place on a player, especially in their 15th season. You look at uh, the Warriors' side, what you saw with them was they're an elite defensive unit, the number one ranked in defense. There are multiple guys that can guard, especially guard LeBron James from Kevin Durant, Eagle Dollar, Draymond Green. And one of the key things that you have to understand is Kevin Durant is has really held like the clamps on LeBron James for some vast time now. In the last 60 possessions, LeBron James is 9 for 60 when Kevin Durant guarded him. This is post this is from the NBA Finals to now. It's ridiculously it's ridiculous how Kevin Durant is doing this to a guy that's having the best season in his in his career quote unquote best season in his career shooting wise etc cetera, etc cetera. so Kevin Durant's length his speed his athleticism really is a deterrent for LeBron James and you know it's it's something that the Warriors it's like their trump card it's like LeBron can do x y z but when we got Kevin Durant in the mix that basically shuts it all down and not to say shuts it all down, but slows it all down. And that's one of the key things. Or you don't have to shut LeBron James down. You have to slow him down. Warriors, when they won their first championship, Iguodala got the NBA Finals MVP because he was able to slow LeBron down. Not a lot, but slow him down. And that's what you want to do. These guys are going to make shots, but you have to somewhat, somewhere, somehow, shut them, slow them down. Slow them down. So the Warriors winning this game basically confirms what Charles Barkley said, you know, it's kind of hard to look at the league and say Warriors aren't going to win because without Steph the the night before or the, uh, yeah the night before against the Nuggets they had one of the worst shooting nights of their career three for 27 for three come back bounce back play taught hard-nosed defense and basically lock up the Cavs I mean besides Kevin Love and LeBron nobody was really doing much and even with 18 rebounds you know I'm pretty sure the Cavs might have uh out rebounded the, the Golden State Warriors didn't matter. So Warriors are in tremendous shape to actually repeat. And the Cavs have to go back to the drawing board. Because even with IT in the mix, you still have to count Stephen Curry. So IT's gonna have to guard Curry. And IT to me is gonna be an easier guard for Curry because Curry is bigger, he's quick, and you know Isaiah Thomas is smaller. So he's more of a liability than Curry is. Curry plays great position of defense. It's just sometimes he reaches in. But he's a, he's a pretty good defender. IT, on the other hand, is not. So we're going to see where that leads. And if, the question of it's a foul or not, you know, people saying they should go back and replay and be able to call fouls. I don't agree with that because when you're on a, on a court, you know, like, you know, you're playing basketball, if nobody calls a foul, nobody could go back and say, well, we reviewed it and that's a foul. No, he didn't call it in the first place. So in that regard, I agree with it's the replay. In terms of how long it takes, I disagree with it. Like, they should have a, a replay booth in every arena, and then right then and there, 
boom, we could go ahead and figure it out. Instead of going to New Jersey, New Jersey's really in it. You know, just hire more referees or guys that have been, um, you know, retired or whatever. And, you know, add to their pension or make it where there's a, a box in every arena. So if it's, it's, it's a quick decision. Oh, yeah, we watched that. We replayed that. It's good to go. We don't have to go to New Jersey and come back because it, it, it takes away from the game and it's adding, like, an extra timeout guy to draw plays, and I don't think that's fair. But in terms of calling a foul later, that's ridiculous. The guy, they didn't call it in the first place, can't call it now. So this is Black Rouge Junction, who's me, Tupla. Peace.